Hey everyone, today we are making an easy shadow box, just like this one, that you can make for yourself. Hey, I'm Tom, and today we're gonna have a lot of fun with light. Isn't it amazing how a little light can make something look completely different, just like this shadow box? We're gonna be taking some space and some light and using it on some cut out pieces of paper to really bring them to life. We're gonna make our shadow box out of our favorite place to take walks, Murloc Bay in County Down, Northern Ireland. You can make your shadow box whatever you like. A city, a jungle, a desert, anything. Here's what you'll need to make this simple project. Paper, preferably cardstock, a ruler, clear tape, a pencil, scissors, make sure you get permission from an adult before using these, and a light source. We'll talk about this later. All right, let's get started. A couple things to consider about making a shadow box. These are layered to give the illusion of depth, so when choosing what to make, the background will be your back layer and the foreground will be in the front. You'll also want to cut more on the foreground and less in the background so you can see it all the way through. For instance, if your first layer is mostly covered, you won't actually be able to see anything. Your furthest back layer will be an uncut blank piece of paper. This layer will catch and diffuse the light even it out and give it that cool glowing effect. First, take a piece of paper and sketch what you want it to look like. You can separate each layer with a different colored pencil. Here's a sketch of what ours will look like. Next, get your tools and paper that you're going to use for your shadow box. Again, I recommend cardstock or paper from an art pad because it's thicker and will hold up better to cutting. Measure out a frame on each paper. About half an inch is about as thick as you'll want it. You'll sketch in this frame for each layer so you'll know how close to the edge to cut to. Sketch lightly on the top foreground layer. The more detail, the harder it will be to cut, so I recommend keeping it simple. Sketch out your remaining layers. You can go back once you finish cutting if you don't like how it looks behind each layer. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, make sure to like and subscribe to catch more videos coming out soon from Party Create. We create videos made for kids to grow in their art and creativity. All right, once you're done sketching, you can cut out your first layer. To get started, push a pencil through the space that you'll be cutting out. Then use scissors to cut. Once you're finished cutting out your first layer, lay it over your second and see what it looks like. Make any changes to the sketch if you need to. You can cut it out and work your way back cutting each layer. Again, don't poke with scissors. Once you've cut a few layers, you'll really get an idea of what the layout will look like. Continue until all your layers are complete. Once you're done, it's time to put it all together. We are going to add the top and the size of the box, starting with the top. Take another piece of paper and cut it in half lengthwise. Take that piece and place it directly above your last layer, the blank page, and tape it. We're going to tape each layer to the top piece, going from the back layers to the front. Take your second to last layer and tape it a half inch above your back layer onto the top paper, but make sure that it doesn't stick to the other layers. You'll repeat this going up a half inch every single time for each layer. Be sure to tape the whole way across each layer to secure it to the top. 
When you're done attaching all your layers to the top, flip all the layers back except for your blank back layer. We're now going to add the sides to the back. The sides of the box should be the same height as each layer, so cut them to fit and tape them to either side of the back layer. Once you've finished, flip the layers back down and pick it up by the top. Each layer will fan out and have equal space between. Lastly, we'll tape the sides to the top to finish the box. Feel free to use as much tape as you need to. And now to light it up. You can use LED lights, a flashlight or torch, or even a phone. If you want to make it more permanent, you could even stick some fairy lights to the back. Whatever you choose, it's time to turn out the lights and see it really shine. Hey, I had a ton of fun making this shadow box with you. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe so that you can catch more Party Create videos in the future. If you made a creation like this one, we would love to see it. Make sure you send it in to us. Until next time, we'll see you soon, party people.